what goes through your mind when you decide to go off like that? Like, what do you think in the rooms before chasing a small total, 212? Do you think, oh, I'm going to really have a crack here in the first couple of hours and see if it comes off, or is it just kind of in the moment? No, it was a bit more in the moment. It was a bit more go with the flow. I mean, in a small chase like that, you, you tend to want to try and break the back of the innings as, as quick as you can. But, I mean, as, as it worked out, we got off to a flyer, and, and um, that was that was nice. But th- there's never any pre-planning that I'm going to go out and, and tee off it, so to speak. It was it was more, we, we want to cash in and, and capitalise on the first 10 as much as we can. But um, And, and that's, that's all we spoke about between myself and Davey uh, and, and the guys coming in. It was about being aggressive in the first 10 overs. We knew that was going to be the best time to bat. So... That, that, that's all that was. Probably a dumb question, but do you know that the fastest 50 by an Australian was 16 balls in an No, I, I actually had no idea. So uh, I think two Victorians, or well, three Victorians, have all got it now. Uh, I was disappointed not to beat Maxi. To be fair, that was uh, that's one thing I would I would have liked to have beaten Maxi. But Simon O'Donnell, I mean, back when when. He was a he was a revolutionary of the game, wasn't he? He was someone who played um, the game in a in a sort of modern day modern day way. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it would have been nice to beat Maxi, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So how close did it come to hitting that one that went for a buy? Actually, mm. that would have given you that. That would have given you the equal world record, sixteen balls. Ah, oh, no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, that I had no idea what the record was until later on when you see it come up on the screen and stuff like that but um, oh, I mean my job at the top of the order is to get us off to a, a good start and a, and a fast start in these conditions so they're not really conditions where um, you consolidate with a new ball and then and then develop as your inning goes on it's, it's go hard at the top and see how you go from there but I mean it's tough tough conditions out there weren't they was, was the blood pumping a bit more than usual, you know, with your adrenaline really going without actually counting the balls, but, you know, you were getting through them? Yeah, the adrenaline was going, I must say, and and when Davey started to, to get a couple away, it was sort of... I think we both wanted to just keep going as hard as we could while we could, and, and like I said, that is a wicket where where you have to cash in in the first 10. Uh, scoring outside of that was going to be very hard. Uh, as soon as the shine went off the ball, and, and especially with Angelo going down, there was going to be no pace on the ball. So we had to make sure that we went we went as hard as we could then. And, and luckily, we both got away with it for a bit. But, yes, yeah, it's great to win a series. Given we're talking about some of those big hits, so you hit the straight drive four, and next ball you hit the really long straight six. How does that, how does that feel when you hit a ball that well, straight back over the bowlers hit the six, just talk us through it? How you feel when something like that happens and it just comes off so perfectly? Well, like I said, it was there was nothing, nothing that said that we wanted to go out and be ultra attacking. It's just a you just get a feeling, you get a, a read on the game that, that you want to keep going as hard as you can. But it's obviously a nice feeling when you get a few out of the middle and 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 that's probably the art of batting is to be able to go through the gears and reel it back a couple of gears when, once you are once you are flying. But I thought there was a chance to to continue continue that and, and make sure that we we broke the innings right there and um, and it was unfortunate I got out when I did but at the same time I think that I think we put on 109 110 in the first 10 overs and and I think in a smallish chase like 200 that was that was what was needed did you sense that depth of feeling with the guys who played in the test series and, and this series that you know there was a lot of emotion uh, when you won the match yeah, absolutely. I think that uh, it's been a tough tour. I mean, we ha- we haven't been treated to good wickets in the one day series, especially. Uh, I think the first wicket we played on was a, was a nice wicket, and and they've reeled out some ordinary one day wickets um, since then. And and I think it, it can be quite frustrating as a batter when you look over and there's a beautiful batting wicket two strips over that that could have been a could have been a really entertaining game from a from a high scoring point of view, but but they used the same one, uh, which was well, it's their home condition, so I suppose they're entitled to do that. But uh, it was nice to it was nice to win when when you feel as though there's a lot of things working against you. You've played a lot of cricket on the subcontinent. You've played a lot yep. of cricket all around the world. Are these the toughest one day wickets you've come across? Yeah, it's close. I, I think it'd have to be close. I mean, there was. West Indies wasn't easy. There were some tough wickets, um, but I, that, that was a lot to do with the weather and, and some tacky wickets that, that spun quite a bit. But um, as a general, 100 overs of a game, 
tough wicket. I, I think this has been as, as hard as, it, as I've seen it. Um, I think I've played 68, 69, 70 games, somewhere around there. It's they've been tough, and and they've they've been we're, we're three three one up at the moment though. So um, it's still a nice feeling to win the series, but but they have been tough. They've been grinding wickets. Hasn't been a, a wicket where where you you back one strength against another. We're, we've we've done it differently to the Sri Lankans. They've had a lot of spin. We've had a lot of pace. Um, so. It's been it's been unusual. It's been difficult, but but we've still won a series, which is the, the end result. Given the strips, given the fact you've lost all the tosses, and given the fact you were we won the first one. Sorry, the, the, the last couple, I should say, two here. You know, after a week ago, and you leave Colombo pretty poor effort with the bat. You must have thought wrapping it up in in four would have been fairly unlikely. You must have double, make it double No, I, don't, I wouldn't have said it was unlikely. I think that the, there's a huge amount of belief in our squad, especially in this format of the game. It's a it's a there's some new players in from what there's been over the last five or six years um, three or four years even there's a lot of new players that have that have come in but the way that they play is so um, can't think of the word it, it, it it goes with what we want to achieve as a, as a team, the way that we want to play the game. And, and you have hiccups, and, and we copped a pretty pretty good and a pretty fair, fair bake after the um, second game in Colombo. Everyone did, batters, bowlers, fielders. Uh, we, we copped it pretty, pretty well from the coach. So to bounce back in the last two games and play as well as we have, I think it's been, it's been exceptional. Uh, but we still do have another game to go. And a common factor in the last two games was John Hastings, your great yep. teammate. Just a reflections on like the amazing 12 months he really has had. Yeah, he's had a difficult 12 months. He's had a couple of surgeries. Uh, he's probably thought that, that it'd be tough to work his way back into the side. When guys are performing well and he's sitting on the sidelines injured, but you just you know what you're going to get every time that he turns up. He's he's a wholehearted performer. Um, he runs in and he and he bowls with all that he's got every day of the week. And and I think that, that that's what you want as a as a team, as a captain. I know that teams that I've captained, you, that's all that you can ask for is guys that run in and and give 100% every time. And not saying that everyone else doesn't, but he does it day in day out and, and he's a phenomenal performer he has been for a long time and and I think there's nobody nobody that, that can be can begrudge Hasto doing well because everyone loves him he's, he's the heart and soul of every team that he plays in so uh, it's been fantastic to see him do so well again do you want to share any the thoughts that the coach had uh, after that game in Colombo? Uh, didn't leave much dust on the shelf. There was no dust left on the shelf. Everyone copped it. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't say most of the stuff that he, he said, but 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 it was it was below par with the bat uh, in in terms of the way that we went about it with the bat um, execution with the ball and, and in the field. So um, yeah, he, he didn't miss anyone. To be fair.